Welcome! Today we are going to show you how to quickly get started using the new Zoom Precision Toolkit. If you have not purchased this yet, the link is in the description box below. Um, today's project, we are going to be making this beautiful necklace. And we are going to be using the Silhouette Cameo 3 machine, but you can also do the same project on the Curio, Cameo, and Portrait machines as well. These are the materials that come in the Zoom Precision Toolkit. You have the three stamping blanks, the dog tag, circle, and heart. Today's project, we're going to be using the heart. Then you have the tool, and the most exciting part is the three different interchangeable tips. You have the blunt, the precision, and the regular, all to help with specific projects. So besides your Zoom Precision Toolkit, the materials you will need today is your normal mat, a piece of paper, and some double-sided tape. If you have a pick scan mat, this will save you so much time and it will help you be a lot more accurate. But today we will be showing you on the normal mat for those that don't have the pick scan mat. And now we will take you over to the Silhouette Studio. Here we are in the Silhouette Studio. We're starting out with a blank mat here in the design page. You want to make sure that all of these settings are incorrectly for you, what machine you're using and what mat you're using. Today we're going to just start with some text. Me and my husband's initials to be placed on our heart tag. So you can change the font right here and but we're just going to keep it simple with this font. The most important part of this stage is sizing it to fit on the heart. First we're going to fit it onto the heart so we want to make sure it's the right size. The heart is three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch and these squares are one inch by one inch so you kind of have an idea of what is going to fit on there. That looks like it'll fit so I'm just going to put it right in the center there and we're going to send it over. On this page you want to pick your material. We like heavy car stock, cover stock and the most important part of the material setting is that your force is all the way up and your speed is no more than three. So right now we're going to cut onto just paper and to make sure that we get it in the right spot and centered on our heart. And we, so we just want to do one pass. Then you're going to send it over. First things first, you do not want to unload your mat. You want to keep it loaded, but you can see that it's etched onto the paper right here. So that's where your project is set to etch. So we're going to put some double-sided tape right in this area. This is the most important part because you do not want your metal to slide That'll ruin your etch. So now we see where the etch is and you're gonna center it right in the middle of our heart. So that's ready to go. Now the next thing, we started with our normal tip in here. You don't want to use the precision tip when you're etching into the paper or else it will, it might damage your mat. But right now is the time if you want to etch more precision or a more blunt etch, now's the time to change your tip. So you can take it out, put it back in, make sure it's nice and tight, and you can put it back in, click it in, and now we are ready to make our etch. The only thing you need to change on the computer is however many passes you want to go through it. And that just depends on your design and how deep you want your cut. Now that we have our heart in place and the tip that you want in the tool and your passes set, sometimes for a really deep cut I go up to 10 or more passes 
So once you have all three of those set, press send. Looks like we got a beautiful clean edge. Looks great. Now this last step is optional. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna take a Sharpie marker and you're just gonna fill it in. Just kind of go over it. It's gonna be messy, but how you clean it up is you get a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol on it. And then It took me a minute, but this is what it looks like when you're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. We hope it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to our channel below and follow us on Pinterest for more instructional videos and project ideas. Hope to see you soon.